buggy bumper, rubber baby 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 buggy bumper. Becoming an auctioneer is a little like becoming a choir boy. First you learn to chant. During their two-week course, the classes of 150 to 225 students at a time do the auctioneers chant in unison twice a day. The instructor at this 76-year-old Missouri auction school, Darrell Ball, says, if you don't understand them, it's only because you don't know the language. And the word math, of course, always goes right in there real easily, instead of pronouncing the word half. As uh, I get 40, 40, 40, down, half, 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 this is where many of the students would like to end up. Cattle sales is one form of the auctioneering big time. The president of the Missouri Auction School, Nick DeWeese, agrees that an agile tongue helps, but a good auctioneer will also have the eyes of an eagle. Uh, a lot of times a real astute buyer will know about everybody who knows that he's been. You can see a man uh, wink to you. Sometimes if he's, if he's got a buyer card in his hand, he'll just flick that buyer card a little bit. And of course, that's the auctioneer's responsibility to pick those guys up. We say an auctioneer ought to have side eyes. As in any occupation, you have to work your way up. Before they complete the course, the students work a local country auction where the stakes are low and the merchandise is of the garage sale variety. Sold, $8.50. Four dollar bit now, five now, five, five now, six. Five dollar bit, six dollar, seven dollar, one, seven dollar. Now two, one fifty bid and now two. It's a long way from the glamorous art auctions in Paris, London, and New York. But if they learn well and develop a talent for tongue twisters, many of these folks will start a new life behind the microphone. And we're witnessing the earliest stages of these new careers because Mrs. William Dunkley of London, Ohio, you asked for it.